I was involved in theater a lot in high school and, uh, and then at college. I uh, did a lot of theater, went to the Yale Drama School. So that was, uh, you know, something I was really interested in. Films were something for entertainment. And, and my interest started to spark as I began to, you know, think, wow, this is a, a wonderful way of expressing, uh, expressing myself and, and as a director. Up to that point, I had thought, well, I'm going to be an actor. But I was realizing, uh-oh, I'm not a very good actor. <laughs> I don't think I should be trying to make a living doing this. I should be, you know, maybe doing something else. And the joke is, you know, sitting in the, in the drama school and seeing, seeing this guy coming down the hall followed by all these cute girls. And you go, who's that? Oh, that's the director. You go, oh, that's the job for me. <laughs> Somehow it's never worked out like that. But anyway, it was a nice thought. <laughs> It probably comes out of a theater background where, you know, one week we're doing Edward Albee and the next week doing Shakespeare and then Ibsen and then Ionesco, all of these different playwrights that have such different tones and it becomes an exciting challenge. And of course, what, a, what an exciting thing to be able to do, say, Saturday Night Fever, which is sort of a musical, to, uh, to something as disparate as Whose Life Is It Anyway, which, is, which started as a play, but as a very kind of heavy drama, and, and then go to War Games or Blue Thunder. I mean, these are just exciting challenges, and, and I kind of approach them like a documentarian would, going into a strange third world country where you go, I don't know much about disco. <laughs> I don't know much, if anything, about Brooklyn, but I do know these characters. And what does it look like here in Brooklyn? What, did, you know, what kind of cars do people drive? What do the kids behave like? And looking at it like a documentarian. So, that, I mean, that's the way we approach Saturday Night Fever. But war games, in a different sense, you know, how computers, I didn't know how to plug a computer in when I started on that film. And, and it's just, it's an invitation to just dive into, you know, learning about something. And, and now I know too much about computers. And, and so that's been an exciting thing. It's one of the joys of directing is how many things you get to learn about and, and you need to learn about. I mean, there's almost no course that I've ever taken or my time in the military, in the army, in basic training and learning rifle and, and uh, first aid and all kinds of things that I haven't used in my directing career. You know, all this knowledge comes in, comes in handy and I'm still having to, you know, study and learn and uh, find out about new things because everything keeps changing. Wow, what a challenge. Actors are really a director's creative partner. They're not meat, they're not puppets. They're something, there are people that can bring something to every single scene that you do, every single shot. And, and they can bring something that you never thought of. And, and you're a fool if you don't take advantage of what even a, a beginning actor can possibly bring to you. And, uh, and because everybody has different training, Strasbourg, Meisner, the Neighborhood Playhouse, I just picked it up from my mom, or I just learned in front of the mirror. You never know how people were trained, if they were trained, and yet you're having to work with them and find the buttons that work the best for them. How can you, how can you communicate with them? What, a, what an exciting challenge. Creative people are unusual. Creative people are different. If they, if they were not, they would not be creative. You know, people that just do the same thing all the time, you know, that don't think in a creative way are very compliant. But uh, 
Creativity also means you're gonna get unusual things. You're gonna get things you didn't expect. It's just not creative and always in the same nice way. You're gonna get wacky things. And, and it, you know, it attracts people who have a kind of free spirit. So you better be used to it. You better be ready to accept it and, and get odd ideas and try to help that person down the line that you want to take your film to go. It's always a learning experience, and I always come out of it. I might be kicking myself for not handling it you know, as well as I thought I could, or saying, well, that worked out nicely, but I always learn something from it and uh, come, come away saying, okay, uh, I'm, this is going to help me dealing, dealing with the next person.